Bismillahi minash shaitanir rajim Bismillahi arrahmanir rahim Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Wa alaykum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Once again welcome to Medina Media Podcast my name is Yusuf Mustafa and with me in the studio is internationally acclaimed that is internationally acclaimed comparative religion fundis internationally acclaimed propagators of the message of Islam Gentlemen I think we're going to have just to say assalamu alaikum wholesale assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh It's quite a strange uh, podcast today instead of uh, being a one on one is going to be a one on how many six yes, yes, one on sure. six alhamdulillah very uh, unique Sheikh beginning off with you the topic is amazing journey to Islam Can you briefly introduce yourself Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم My name is Abdisa Baisa originally from Ethiopia uh, currently I'm living in South Africa in Johannesburg uh, I reverted to Islam at the age of 59 uh, now I'm turning uh, 69 Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen because Allah, he guide me, not anyone, because if Allah guides you, no one misguides you. Mm. Based on this, uh, I feel for the fellow people, non-believers, uh, those who are living like I uh, used to, uh, uh, the way I was living in deep darkness, when I came to the bright deen of Islam, I decide, while I'm reading from the Quran, and I found some verses which... Uh, uh, inspired me just to uh, uh, to do dawah and to invite uh, non-Muslims. So I start in 2016. Today, uh, almost 7,000 people they embrace Islam. Alhamdulillah. 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 Uh, including this brother from Ethiopia, uh, his name is Mamush. Yesterday, by this time, he was reverted to Islam during uh, uh, Dhuhr Salah. Allah, 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 Allah. Welcome, uh, brother. Welcome. welcome. Shukran. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome. 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 Mashallah. You uh, on the road, but he looks uh, like, like already, a chef. Um, Mashallah. Muslim already for long. Yeah. 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 Mashallah. This, yeah. <laughs> you know, the this is the amusing. Before even I interject, my brother, Wallahi. Someone who was born a Muslim and someone who has reverted to Islam, they are two different it's people. Two different, yes. When you take Shahada, you change automatically. Mm, mm, when yeah. you make the first sajda, Allahu Akbar, and you go back, Allahu Akbar, mm. you feel that like there is a burden that has been mm. taken away Out from you. Allah and Allah. the way you feel your heart is... Mm. You cannot even express with words. The mm. way you feel, the tranquility or the sakina, the calmness, you have it. Allahu Akbar. If you die there, you go straight to Jannah. Inshallah. 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 Alhamdulillah. For the benefit of our viewers out there, this is uh, Sheikh Salim Deda, also from uh, Kenya, who is uh, going to tell us about his amazing journey towards Islam. And uh, he was also a very, very staunch Christian evangelist who has reverted to the fault of Islam. Inshallah, we are going to be having a word with him as well. Now, coming back to Sheikh Baisa, Sheikh Baisa, uh, your challenges. Uh, last time when we met, that was a few days ago, you told us a very heart-rendering story about what you experienced as you came to the fault of Islam. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Islam is the clear religion, and which is for all humanity. The Quran says in the Quran, Surah Al Baqarah, Shahru Ramadan, Aladi Unzila Fihi Al Quran, Huda Linnas, Wal Bajinat, Min Al Huda, Wal Fuqan. Quran is for all humanity. <coughs> but most of the people, most of the Muslims, they put Quran here, they are telling people, non believers, don't touch because you are not clean. Unless you tell him, unless you give him a Quran, how are you going to know, how she going to know, how she going to see what Quran says? Because you hold it here and you are saying, 
You are and, not clear. And, and, and they say that the, mm. the Quran is very clear. Mm. Who the linas? It a guidance mm. to man. Yeah, right. Right. How we need to guide them when you don't give them a chance to read and to know that Quran is a guidance to mankind? Wallahi, what happened to me? Mm. I said I go to the madrasa Darulum. They said, hey, you are very old. Here after just <laughs> once you embrace Islam, go sit in the masjid and the make zikr and the do whatever and the pray, learn how to do. Uh, how to do zikr and how to make uh, whatever they, I don't old. know what they say. So you are old. old. Yes, how can you be then. older than uh, Hamza who embraced? How old was he when Hamza, the uncle of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, when he took shahada? But even the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says, seek knowledge from the cradle to the grave. Mm. Allahu but Allahu. our people, the Muslims, this born Muslims, they are saying, <laughs> I learned, I did it uh, for 30 years in the bush. In the madrasa, and now you come and see and see that at the age of 59, at the age of 65, you are asking to teach you go to Bush that side. No, I'm a, I'm a, a Molana, I you are not my stage to teach you because this is the I, challenges. I, live. Yeah, I, I, I think, Shaykh Yusuf, this is the challenges that the uh, new Muslims who revert to Islam are passing through. Mm -hmm. Because, first, when you take Shahada, we have most of the people who think that we are not sincere. This is the first thing. Yeah, the sec yeah, yes, sec mm -hmm. this is true, mm -hmm. true story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The second thing is that they segregate us mm -hmm. as if we are lesser Muslim to them. Mm -hmm. They don't value, they don't integrate the new Muslims into the fold of these Muslims who are born Muslims and show us the good characters and manners so that we may strengthen also our Iman. Mm -hmm. So you see when you find such a challenges, it is discouraged many people. We have some people who have been are taken shahada and then revert from our own bad characters. Mm -hmm. Subhanallah. Mm -hmm. You give that. someone salam alaikum, we say wa alayka. Mm -hmm. Wallahi la mm -hmm. you are Muslim is a Muslim. We have reached a place where you in the most the challenges that you are you are you are we are passing in the mosque someone is asking you anti Muslim are you inside the mosque? Not outside the mosque, inside the mosque. He's asking you, anti Muslim? Are you Muslim? That's, uh, that is very bad. And uh, these are the challenges uh, for our viewers. These are the challenges that are faced by our brothers uh, here. We have, uh, but I'm quite surprised because the people who are doing more work in terms of dawah are the people that have reverted to Islam. To Islam. Islam. Yes. This is what surprising those. I think the confidence that uh, the so called born Muslims have makes them relaxed. And the ones that come to the fault of Islam makes it an obligation. Sheikh, let's introduce uh, and, and you. Before even you go to that, to Sheikh Ibrahim, mm -hmm. I want Sheikh Ibrahim also to speak about this. You know, the great people in Islam are the people who reverted to Islam. This is what... Uh, the, our the Khalifas. Point, yeah. you, you understand this? Mm -hmm. And they are the people who has done a lot that we cannot match or fit in their shoes. Mm -hmm. Are the people who are new Muslims. They reverted when during the time of the prophet. I think you need Muhammad to emphasize on that point, inshallah, that those who did sterling work, outstanding work with the Khalifas uh, of uh, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But uh, anyway, before you you hammer on that point, let's introduce. Uh, we can call the focal focal <laughs> sheikh. <laughs> focal sheikh. <laughs> is Allah in terms of comparative <laughs> religion. <laughs> this is uh, one gentleman. Uh, I'll tell you a story about uh, the gentleman. He's been one of uh, I've got a colleague of mine, uh, Suleiman Suleiman Tifreitas, uh, uh, a Portuguese uh, gentleman. I'm sure you have met him. Uh, tough, big guy. He's one of his favorite da'i that he has always been showing me. Mm -hmm. On YouTube is Sheikh Ibrahim. Sheikh Ibrahim. <laughs> we never ever thought that we are going to meet him in person. Allah Akbar. No, and you this. always joke, there is one place, Sheikh, where you say, Where is this voice coming from? Yeah. Mustafa. Yes. Mustafa. Mm -hmm. Mustafa. And he's always mm -hmm. mocking him because my name is Mustafa. Yes. <laughs> so yes. always he uses you and say, Look at the Sheikh, he's calling you. Mm -hmm. And today I meet you, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And Sheikh, mm -hmm. your experiences, you have done a lot of outstanding work. This is testimony. Yes, my This Allah. is yes. proof Allah. of what you have done. Your experiences, please, very briefly. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We don't have to take time after praising and thanking Allah. Peace and salutations be upon our Prophet Muhammad. My brothers who are watching and the brothers who are here, the most difficult job, the most difficult work on this earth 
is dawah. Subhanallah. The most difficult work, mm. the most difficult job is dawah. Because you will have great challenges. Mm. Some of the Muslims will call you, you are in da'wah because you just want to fill your stomach. Some will tell you, you are in da'wah da because you don't have you work, don't have you don't have business. Do. Mm. Some Muslims will tell you, there is a mosque that we went and uh, we had a preaching outside, it is in East Africa. And the sheikh there said, uh -huh, you want to bring those people to come and steal our shoes in the mosque. Yes. So, it is the, the sheikhs and the and the people, some of them, not all of them, mm. some of them, of them and a few of them are putting so much stress onto you. So what I was saying is, these people who have embraced, have embraced Islam, we have others in Kenya, they have gone through hell, but they still stick to the Iman. Alhamdulillah. Look at this brother Salim here. Mm. Che, there is a time without <laughs> I fear God and we are heading to the mother of God. There is a time I was, I wanted to revert back to Christianity. Wallahi, I'm telling you and Allah is my witness. It was between me and Allah. I reached a point where I said, no, this is enough, I better go back. You see, from the family, hmm? it comes problems. Now imagine if, if hmm? your iman was weak. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, if my man was a weak, well, I, I, I could be uh, saying other things. First well, of all, you come from a privileged uh, privilege society, a privilege, where you are being respected, where you are being honored, where everything you want, you get it on a golden plate. When you come to Islam... You go by because you wear... You know, yes, wearing nice, nice we can, suits. When next time we'll see you the way we used to dress, good suits and, you know, very expensive. The suits of designers... The suits of designers, you know how much is it? Mm. $1,000, $800, $1,500. When you come, people, they, they belittle or they underlook you as if you are a useless person. And as we are speaking today, Alhamdulillah, also my bishop, you know, in, in, in Christianity we have stages. Mm. We have my evangelists, we have pastors, we have senior pastors, mm. we have bishop, we have a bishop. As we are speaking today, my bishop reverted to Islam. No, 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 no. And you know when we say a bishop, people they don't know. A bishop is the one who is in charge of a, 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 a diocese, not a parish. You know, in a diocese you may have even 48 parishes, you mm -hmm. know. And those, to say it's like, the, like a bishop is someone who is in charge of uh, Gauteng province. Mm -hmm. It's under him. Hmm. With those churches. And you imagine a parish has some as 25 churches, 48 churches, uh, 60. It depends with the with, with the sound. space or the, 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 the mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. as you are speaking today, is a Muslim. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Allah says in the Quran, mm -hmm. He will make this deen of Islam bulldoze all, all other, other deens. religion, the favorite of Ahmad Didan. Didan. Yes, okay. now uh, Allah subhanahu wa I will just say one thing. Let us not, you know, you don't have to complain too much. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has brought us na'ma. This is Islam. Like now, when you are asking us, you are here in South Africa. You are, what do we, want? we are doing also da'wah. We were there in Musina. We mm. went to the locations. 295. 295 families. When they migrated from Malawi into South Africa, they had the men of South Africa married the women from Malawi. Mm. And they are Muslims. The women from Malawi got married to the men of the locals. So the husband is a Muslim, the, the wife is a Christian. -Muslim. Mm. On a Sunday, the children they gave birth to, Sunday they go to the church, Friday they go to the mosque. Mm. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> you see, eh? So the, we brought them together. Uh, we, talk, we were talking with them. We even had our small money. We bought some cows and meat and rice. We cooked, we called them. When we came here, all, everything got finished there. So when you come here, when you came here, we have a debate in Mayfair. Mm. The rest that we had, you see the posters, we, we gave mm -hmm. some money. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> we, we, were, we were going up and down. The car we are moving now with is on hire. You cannot go as a sheikh, you cannot go by foot. 
Mm. So uh, sometimes we even call at home. Uh, we have uh, this, you give us, uh, send us some small money for this da'wah. Now they are surprised, you have gone for da'wah. We are here. We need money for food. Ramadan is coming. Like him, all these people are Christians. He has to pay for the rent. He has to take his children to school. The children are now at, yesterday, today, he, in the morning, he was telling me, uh, the children at home, he had not even paid for the rent for four months. Now in the morning, they were calling him, the children are coming away from... from midterm, in midterm. From, midterm. They are coming home from the boarding school. Mm -hmm. They need school fees. Uh, you know, we as Muslims, as Somalis, at least sometimes we help one another. But for him, who is going to help him? Mm -hmm. Who is his brother? Mm -hmm. In Amal yeah. yeah. And they are the ones that who are uh, entitled into, into Zakat. Allah says, and those who are on the way of Allah, mm -hmm. keep them. And those who uh, have debts, pay for them their debts through your zakah. But no one also is asking, where do you sleep? Where do you eat? Yes. So we are the, the, the other thing, Sheikh, you know, know, let me finish. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. I was uh, telling the Muslims, wake up. Wake up. This deen, it needs support. Secondly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if you don't work hard in this deen, I will get you out of Islam. And I will bring other people who will do this work of da'wah, who will do this work of Islam, and who will love Allah more than you. So and they will be Allah, better. They'll and be they better. will be better than you. That is, that is a verse in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Sheikh, the other thing that, you know, Wallahi, whoever is watching this, I just needed dua. And I've been talking to this Sheikh, you can't believe. I'm one of the luck, luck, one of the luckiest people. Me and my wife together, we embrace this one. Alhamdulillah. This is the name, Sheikh. You know the way. But there it is was a, a problem. Mm. I, passed, I passed through challenges. But that is a story for another day. Mm. Even asking people to make dua, my biggest aspiration as we are speaking today Our. is to make umrah nor hajj. Okay, for the benefit of our listeners, mm. we only got four minutes to round up on uh, the podcast on Medina Media. With me in the studio, we've got world acclaimed, world renowned, that is Sheikh Ibrahim, Sheikh Baisa. Sheikh Salim, and uh, also, uh, as you can see, my uh, our Imam, our Masha Imam, Allah 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 Imam. <laughs> Sheikh mm. Bu'ul mm. and Sheikh Adam, Adam. and our yeah. brother who is a new Muslim, uh, 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 renamed uh, Mahmoud. Yeah. Inshallah, you Mahmoud. can give uh, no. Sheikh Adam. You can speak one minute. Yeah. Okay. You can you can see the very. We say, we say that uh, when the elders speak, <laughs> you can go ahead. Yeah. No, no, no. But no, you are our no, chef. No, no, no. Even if you are younger, yeah. but you know you are the person that we depend yeah. on yeah. in yeah. terms of guidance and knowledge. knowledge. Yeah. You know you are the first. Even the day of Qiyamah, you are Ali of now. We'll be on the top as we are behind. He is the Imam of Masjid al Haq at the entrance of Lodium in Pretoria, South Africa. Very eloquent in recitation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just to conclude, I'm um, sure we are running out of time. Sheikh, yes. the way forward mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, the work of Dawah. Mm -hmm. You have mentioned a very interesting uh, hadith when old men were sitting reading Quran, making dhikr, tasbih. and then uh, making tasbih, and then uh, the angels were instructed to destroy that particular village. Take over from there, Sheikh. Sheikh, take over. Give no, it no, I can't take over. It's yours. You know, Sheikh, yeah. the, the most important thing, as you said, you know, when we become selfish and contented as an individual, mm. we, Sheikh, nobody can explain Jannah. Jannah is white and big. <laughs> the least who that. will get, mm. the least who will get the part in Jannah is like the whole world. The least will get a piece in Jannah. So when we think that we are the only people that we are Muslim without conveying the message of Islam to other people, this is selfishness. And this was not the main purpose of Allah sending Prophet Muhammad. Wa ma illa kafata linasi bashiran wa 
first. And then the second thing, supporting the work of Dawa is not an excuse. It's not begging, as I see most of the institutions are doing. It's wajib people to give to support this financially, knowledge, in terms of whatever. Everything. Physical, everything. Without being asked. Without being asked. This is their responsibility. I normally say, and I'll say this without shame or being afraid. It's not our responsibility to go and beg people in the mosque mm. and individual. They are supposed mm. to come to us, to this institution, and ask why can we support this is my two, bi two million, three million runs. What can it help? This, they, are, they want to come here, not mm. you to follow them. It's true. You see? Mm. You see something that you look, they are supposed to be looking <coughs> for. Jana. So this work must be supported. Is how many thawabs are they getting eh? Eh? for if every work that pass, you do? Or he's, one, he's one in person home uh, taking his wife. Mm. My love, mm. I love you. And he has given <laughs> the money. Oh, come, my daughter. So, it is, for whatever you do, any khairat, he gets it. Mm. When will he know? The Muslim, they, some people, they think, and may Allah guide them and protect us, mm. that they think mm. the people who are doing work, they are beggars. When we are representing them, listen this verse in the Quran in Surah Al-Ajah and Shaykh is more knowledgeable than us. وَيَكُونَ رَسُولًا شَهِيدًا عَلَيْكُمْ وَتَكُونَ شُهَدًا عَلَيْكُمْ Remember the, the last sermon of the Prophet Muhammad in Hijjah al -Wada. He said, you who people who are here, I have conveyed the message to you. And you convey the message to people who are not here. Have I conveyed? They say yes. He repeated three times. He said, Ishad. Allah be a witness that I have conveyed the message. Sheikh, we are being given amana and we are doing khiana with the amana. Islam is not ours, it's for Allah. This amana, we must take it to the rightful people. Me and you, we are Muslim. What about these millions who are non Muslim? Billions around the world. Billions. Uh, uh, gentlemen, I would like to thank you very much. Uh, we are seriously running behind time. And, uh, Sheikh, please to conclude you in know, one minute. This work you are doing is one of the greatest work. And why did I say that the toughest work and the toughest job is the Quran, is, is, is da'wah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah, uh, alayhi wa salatu wa salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent them 124,000 prophets, but he mentioned 25 in the Quran. Mm. Out of those, again, he chose five. five. Mm. Uli le azmi min al-rusul. Azmi min al-rusul. Why? He gave them the daraja. Why? Because they, they because of their names. No, no because they had a lot of wealth. But and because cows. they had money. No. Because of the problems that they acquired through that. Through proclaiming the word of Allah. Telling the people about it. About Allah. Nuh told people about Allah. Allah had, had chosen him. It was Nuh, Musa, Ibrahim, Isa. And Muhammad. Nuh did for 950, 950 years, years, and he was stoned. Stone. Ibrahim was put in, in fire. Musa was, <laughs> Firaun wanted to kill, kill Musa. Musa. Jesus, alayhi salatu wasalam, you know what he passed through. He was, a, he, they were planning to crucify him. Mm. Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi salam, he then at night when they are planning to kill him from, from Makkah Allah to Medina. Allah chose them. Because... Mm. He was asking them money. Because Allah says, was, my last verse, uh, you think you will enter paradise just like this? In the simplest way, in a golden plate. Mm. Allah says, what did they pass? Problems. The Prophet was stoned in, in Taif. Why? He because went into the love. grave without the front teeth. Because of La Why? Ilaha. Because of La Ilaha. 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 Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa What have you done for Islam? Like? So. You we can say to you even more of money. You'll control and us with that. Yeah. No. Sheikh, yeah. yeah. it's so hard thing. We are speaking yeah. deep yes, from yes, our heart. Yes, it's so hard yes, yes. thing. But may Allah guide us and guide us and protect us. All right, gentlemen, I think I have to call it quits here because it's, besides interesting, I wouldn't say interesting, it is very emotional what the gentlemen have uh, gone through, uh, through the work of Tawa. And to conclude, from my side, Yusuf Mustafa, till we meet again. And uh, gentlemen, thank you very much once again for coming all the way from Kenya, Ethiopia, different places of the world. Inshallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you the best Amen. in this world Amen. and in the year after. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.